Kenny Hill, a sophomore from South Lake, Texas, and 17 touchdowns, number two in the country in that category. And you really couldn't have had a better start with the way he started his season last week against Arkansas. A little bit of a wake-up call for Kenny Hill the first three quarters, but found a way to win in the fourth quarter. A go out of an empty set with a redshirt freshman quarterback. Hill finds Trey Carson up to the 38th on the offense for Mississippi State. Hill from the 42-yard line has time in the pocket. Deep throw, and it's pulled in at the 30-yard line. Johnny Manziel's replacement at the quarterback spot. That pass a little behind. Passing touchdowns and total offense. Hill off the pump fake. And a low pass is pulled in. Trey Carson, Brandon Williams, and now Trey Williams. But it's a quick pass, and it's a touchdown for Josh Reynolds. This time, Mississippi State decides to bring the corner pressure. That's Jamerson Love off the edge. But look at the eyes of the quarterback. He aborts the fake. He's supposed to be faking that ball, but he knows he has trouble. He sees it, gets rid of that ball, and gets a one-on-one -on, -one on Justin Cox. Hill with a quick toss. And a good play in the open field is Sears Jones. Motioning out of the backfield there was Trey Williams. Another pass to Sears Jones. Another drop in the SEC, seventh in the nation. Hill on third and long with time and wide open to the sideline, but unable to make the catch with Sabian Holmes. After the one yard gain, Hill to the air through the hands of Seals Jones. On third and long, Hill with a ton of time, and that one is right at the first down marker. One of the best in all of college football. Hill will throw. Sideline pass is caught by Seals Jones for a first down. Wrapped up at the 21 pass so far. Another pass play with time. Now Hill takes off and able to break a tackle and get the first down. It's so tough to cover all these wide receivers downfield. And then when Kenny Hill decides, great protection. Tavez Calhoun comes in right there, number 23. That's the tackle. you got to get him on the ground before he gets to the first down stick. Quick throw to the flat. The man who caught the touchdown, Reynolds. And a second down and six. Hill, a long throw that's dropped. That's how he beats him. He did it to Alabama. Hill stepping up in the traffic, but it's dropped. Almost caught by Reynolds. Fight for that football. Did, did he possess it and make a football move before it was popped out or no? I don't think he had possession there. Kenny Hill, 9 of 14, a touchdown pass. Had a little trouble with the snap there, so he just takes off. And Hill slammed down. The ball comes out. Very fortunate. It looked like he bobbled the snap and then tried to make a move here. That ball is definitely out. I think that's... So it is a first down and a quick toss to Niederhofer. Niederhofer and Kennedy. Kennedy's been a security blanket. Another high snap for Hill in trouble. And Hill is brought down for a sack. He comes out in rush situations. He's on Obwehi there. Obwehi just takes a bad set. You don't see that very often from him. And Third down and seven. Pump fake by Hill. Being chased. Pumps again. And then throws low. A gain of seven. Now Hill to throw and wide open is Niederhofer. Good to see him back out there after he took a big shot. Eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. Hill and over the middle is Niederhofer. Hill finds Reynolds trying to fist fight with the defender. Hill again with good protection. Tried to dump it off and the pass and their secondary can they contain this passing game i think they have so far 18 yards a lot of that's misleading though as hill rolls out and finds two defenders but boy look at him turn on the jets as he reverses field inside the 40-yard line trailing by two scores kenny hill fires incomplete hill throws Niederhofer lost it, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Richie Brown. Brown brings it back into Texas A&M territory.
blocks on Niederhofer, but this is all the quarterback. That ball should be out in front of the wide receiver, and it would be an easy conversion on third down. He throws it behind him, and that ball bounces right into Richie Brown's hands for the interception. The ball in between the tackles. Hill will throw now. Pressure coming, and Hill's pass is intercepted again. Team on the road. He has this Mississippi State crowd thinking they can win. Finally, Mississippi State, Chris Jones right up the middle. They're starting to get some pressure. Take a look right there, trying to release that ball. Where are you going to go downfield? There, there's a coverage downfield. He tries to dump the ball off. And when you're under duress, sometimes your accuracy suffers. 1.52 on the clock. Plenty of time for Texas A&M to go the length of the field. Trey Carson. Oh, man, what a play. Stay with this offense. They're, they're up to the task. Hill has thrown interceptions on consecutive possessions, finds Seals Jones, then the linebacker, you got the big guy in the middle at 250. Hill, a short throw to Pope, he breaks a tackle, stays in bounds at the 45-yard line. The SEC this, this year, and it's hard to argue that with the way they play so far. Four-man rush, Hill's pass is caught by Seals Jones. Wide open is Speedy Noyle inside the 35-yard line. Down at the 30-yard line of Mississippi State. Pressure coming. Hill steps up, has a running lane, cuts it back inside the 20. And Hill to the 16-yard line. Wasting seven or eight seconds here. Hill throws a fade to Noyle. It's caught. There's a flag down. He was out of bounds. So 19 seconds left. Mississippi State dialing up pressure. Hill's pass is caught. And if Market doesn't make this tackle, it's a touchdown. Here they come. They're all coming. You can't block all of them. Off the edge, you got to get rid of the football. An accurate throw, but Market gets him on the ground. Here they come. A fade to the end zone. And again, overthrown. Josh Reynolds, the intended receiver. Could be several, actually. Kenny Hill to throw on first down. And a missed tackle as Seals Jones is free. Spins out of a tackle attempt at the 30 as well. Out of the empty set. Hill moving to his right, facing pressure. And drill back at the 20. Maybe the biggest surprise, or not even a surprise, but factor in this game has been the pressure on Kenny Hill from this Mississippi State defensive line. Everybody's been talking about tech. They're just one of seven on third down. And it's a quarterback run. Hill tackled at the 30. Good ankle tackle. Second down. Hill looking downfield. And a diving catch made from the 39. A oh, dangerous throw there as Niederhofer lost the ball. And they're going to rule incomplete. Tackle before the ball came out. Yeah, again, he's he catches the ball pretty clean. That's a great play by Matt Wells, the linebacker, number 22. He fights off the block by Seals Jones. Level, really amazing story. Kenny Hill on second down, over the middle, incomplete. Almost picked off again on a redirection. Hill, incomplete, another drop. This one by Seals Jones. These are the plays that went their way against Arkansas. The, the touchdown to tie it at the end made by Reynolds. These are the kinds of throw in tight windows. And it looked like uh, Seals Jones was expecting somebody to hit him right off the bat. Texas A&M can't get lined up. Just discombobulated right now, guys. On second and 12. Hill has a completion to Josh Reynolds. It's five and a half left, but... And that's got to be a flag. Here it comes. Niederhofer was mugged. Niederhofer got underneath him. It's a good call there. You know, every team is going to have adversity in the course of a season, and Texas A&M had it last week. He's going to step up for this team on the offensive side and get it done. Field to throw. And a short pass. Caught by Sabian Holmes. And he's driven to the ground after a game of one. He's been up any big routes down the field. Hill rolling out. And open in the middle of the field is Holmes for a first down. Inside the 40 and cut down. There you go. You see they're going to move the pocket here. Under duress there. He's not going to lose confidence. That's the one thing that we know about Kenny Hill. He's going to continue to take those shots. The end of the first half, holding a and to a field goal. Aggies need six. Hill throwing deep, and it's dropped again at the 15-yard line. Third down and nine instead of having the ball inside the 15-yard line. 
open in the middle of the field is Niederhofer. Oh boy, he got there. Took a big hit because he ran through the zone. Here Seals Jones out on the flat, and he gets. You want to stop that bubble screen tackle from the corner spot. Second and ten. Hill, and that ball is pulled in. Oh, a touchdown! Speedy Noyle. They have dropped some balls. Take a look at this throw. He's going to throw it right at the pylon. That's what he tells the receiver. That ball is going to come to the pylon. Speedy Noyle at the last minute gets his head around, and the official has a perfect angle. And you got to be careful if you're Mississippi State because this AM team, we know they can score fast. And with players like Speedy Noyle, we'll see how this fares against the tide today. Hill throws, and another drop. Bernardrick McKinney, both guys are big, big linebackers as far as the SEC goes. High receivers have done a great job against the pass. Hill in trouble, gets out of there, and looks to run. And dives to the 24-yard line. And wide open is Seals Jones up past the 35. Good tackle by Redmond. And then down 24 as the quarter begins. Hill stepping up, firing deep, single coverage, overthrown. Third down conversion the entire game. Hill going to throw deep again for Noyle, and this one is caught. What a beautiful grab by Noyle inside the 25-yard line. After further ado, the pass was incomplete. Should be a good angle here. That Watch the nose of the football. He bounces up. There it is. Yep. Yeah, great look. It's incomplete. Head up, chin up. Young players. It's a sophomore. Kenny Hill, another drop. Pope had that one go through his hands. But nine drops now by Hill. Flushed out of the pocket in trouble. And down he goes. Sack at the 26. They're still going strong. Six tackles for a loss for Mississippi State. The screen to Carson. He's got room. Tackled short of the first down by getting a fourth down conversion. Hill steps up and throws a pick. Richie Brown having the game of his life. Third interception. Take a look. It's going to be great pressure. Richie Brown should take the defensive line out for a steak dinner because he's had three interceptions <laughs> thrown right to him. He does have two touchdown passes and a lot of drops by receivers. This one is caught by Taboyo. The line coach and a crowd that looks at them a lot differently than they have in the past. Hill in trouble brought down to the 20 yard line. It'll be third down. First down of the 32. Hill, look out. Sacked at the 45. Well, this is a Mississippi State team that knows how to get to the passer. Now, you think about this defense, they return just about everybody. Hill on second down and 20. Incomplete. Third down. Right, he's down 31 points, too. That's tough. Third down and 20. Going to throw deep here over shot. It'll be fourth down. That Alabama's going to beat Ole Miss today. Correct? Yes. And what about Auburn? Does that mean Auburn's going to lose once or twice? I think Auburn has a hard time coming in here and beating this team. Well, we've seen Auburn a couple times this year. Seals Jones on the catch. And right at the first down marker. They, they, your opponent having a bye week. You have to win on the road. To the end zone. Overthrown. And then, giving up 559 total yards. Josh Reynolds fighting. Early. <laughs> I don't know why we're picking final fours as that pass is incomplete. Picking final fours in September and fourth and two. And they bring pressure, but a great pass by Hill and Speedy Noyle hangs on. First half of this season, he has showed up as advertised. And you know what? If I'm Kevin Sumlin, football team, it'll be a good one. Kenny Hill on first down. And Ah, the ball came out there. No, nope. incomplete. Yep. Reynolds had it and went to the ground, lost the ball. That's 10 drops now for AM. Although one official stepped in and said, you know, he caught it. One in conference play. They all miss and at Alabama on the 18th of October. Well, he returned next week. You know, they could be playing 
Another unbeaten team next week in Ole Miss, pending the outcome, obviously, against Bama. Up high to make the catch is Reynolds for a touchdown.